Playbill City coming at you for Friday's workout for this week. And your question of the day is, what is your favorite vacation spot? Compliments of Domingo's question that he thought of last week. Thank you, Domingo, for that one. Your warm-up is going to be five minutes long. It's going to be a two-minute EMOM of 30 seconds of jumping jacks, 30 seconds of alternating Samson stretches. After those two minutes, we're going to move right into a three-minute EMOM of 30-second object Russian swings and 30 seconds of high knees. So this is what these are going to look like. So your 30 seconds of jumping jacks, as we know, our arms and legs come out at the same time. So jumping jacks, we're going to do 30 seconds of those. Then you're going to go into 30 seconds of alternating Samson stretches. So one foot comes forward, one knee comes down, and we're going to stretch forward, and then we're going to switch alternate those Samson stretches. Feel free if you want to, to get those arms up overhead to stretch a little bit more. Again, stretching forward on those Samson stretches. After those two minutes, we are gonna go into the three minute EMOM of 30 seconds of single object Russian swings. So a little bit of that wide stance, hips, um, uh, feet outside your hips, if I could talk today. Using those legs, hinging up at that eye level with that object for 30 seconds. And then we go into 30 seconds of high knees. So getting those knees up, high, 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 high for those high knees. And it'll do three minutes of alternating between those two movements. Then we go into our push-pull strength, 10 minutes. There are gonna be three sets, three sets on a 10 minute running clock. So what you're going to see is 10 single object push press with a slow lower, and you're holding a single object across your chest, and then you're doing eight on each side, single object overhead forward lunges, and you're going to lunge forward with your leg, but you're gonna hold the opposite arm up in the air for that overhead. And then you're gonna rest as needed between sets, and again, it's three sets. So, 10 object push press. We are going with a slow lower. So 10 objects on uh, one object in front of your chest this way, and it's going to be that dip and drive, so feet, are right up right under those hips and we're going to dip drive lock out overhead and then we're going to do that slow lower no dictated tempo on the down it all depends on the weight of your dumbbell if your dumbbell is a little bit lighter go slower on the descent if your dumbbell is a little bit heavier you can go a little bit faster on the descent this is for your your choice so depending on that weight of that dumbbell for those push press but make sure it's a low descent then for those single, single object lunges, you're gonna take that object, lock it out overhead, activating that shoulder, and the opposite leg from the arm is gonna come forward into that lunge. We're gonna do eight on this leg, and then you're gonna switch, lock this one out opposite, and you're gonna do eight on this leg for those lunges. Then you rest as needed between those sets and we go back and do another one. Each set should take you about three minute-ish minutes to get through. Next, after that strength portion, we have our push-pull workout. This is gonna last 14 minutes. You're gonna do three sets. So it's three four-minute AMRAPs. So that first four-minute AMRAP is going to consist of 15 single arm object push press on your left. We're not doing any slow lowers on this, so it's just that quick push up, come back down, those heave hoes on the left arm, then 15 single arm object push press on the right, then you have 10 single arm object up downs with a deadlift, so you're going to deadlift that object up after you do your up down, and then you're going to do 10 on your right, so 10 on your left, 10 on your right. And then in the remaining time of that four minutes, you're going to do max object lunges in the remaining time. They can be forward or backwards and the object will be held at your chest like we've been doing. So that, and you get a minute rest between each one of these sets that, you get, that you're doing. So this is what it's gonna look like. You have your single arm object push press. So you're gonna do seven, uh, I'll be okay, 10, 15 on your left side, single push press. So dip, drive, lock out, dip, drive, lock out. So you're gonna do 15 of these on your left, then you're gonna switch over, then you're gonna have 15 of these on your left. Dip, drive, dip, drive. Then you have 10 single on the left side, up downs with an object. So you wanna take this a little bit wider outside your hips, it's gonna be a lot easier with the object. 
you're going to do your up down and then deadlift up to your hips it's also forcing you not to round your back so sometimes we do the outside of our leg it's keeping you in that position to just deadlift it right up so again you're going to do up downs here so you're going to do 10 on that side then you're going to switch and then you're going to do 10 on this side keeping those legs a little bit wider than we're used to to keep our chest up and our back straight when we stand up those deadlifts and then in the remaining time you have your max single object lunges so again you can go forward or you come backwards with those lunges so holding that object in that front rack you can go forward but you are alternating your feet or you can choose to do reverse that is up to you that is your choice for those that is what we got for you guys today don't forget your do-it-yourself mobility five minutes every day either in the bell city website you can find the link or on zen planner have a good one guys nice to see you bye see you in the zoom room